Okay. Uh, Plum Tree is uh, a kick-ass rock and roll. A kick-ass band. rock and roll band. <laughs> Four videos, two CDs. We went across Canada four times. We went to the States a bit. We have a seven inch in the UK. We're on a compilation in Japan. And we've toured Japan five times. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make it sound good. So, attitude. Is attitude important in a band? It's the only thing. You have to have the you gotta rock and roll have attitude. attitude. Yeah. What's the rock and roll Everything attitude? Everything else is secondary. <laughs> it's also it's a lot more than playing shows and practicing or even recording. We're really involved in the business side of things. Yeah, it's like we're fully involved in pretty much every aspect of it. Sometimes it gets a bit too um, hectic and we almost wish we didn't do all the stuff we do. But the band is always a priority and we schedule the other things around it. So, so guys, what is the rock and roll attitude? The rock and roll attitude is... <laughs> nothing, nothing. We're just eating. <laughs> but if we didn't interview in hot tub, there'd be way different connotations. And... <laughs> There's a lot of image and appearance. Different things like that are, are very important in the music business. Your picture is important. And yeah. you might as well figure out, well, how do I want what you want? Cool, yeah, and then what's cool to you? I don't know, music and art, I think I'll always do both of them. I was always really interested in art, um, and I just started going to art school about three years ago. Um, I'm really into school, I'm really into art history and that kind of thing, but like just in my spare time, I just like to listen to music. It sounds so uneventful. Like I, can't, I like walk everywhere, but I can only walk, you know, with a Walkman listening to music. It's, I guess, it's a bit obsessive, maybe. <laughs> when I was a kid, or well, maybe about 16, I started playing the harmonica. I was gonna do it professionally, and this is one of the first places that I played. I never wanted to be in a rock band. I wanted to play the blues, and I got a job at a gelato store. That's how I make my living. Nice texture. Nice texture. Sure, it's pretty, it's not, not too fluffy. Mm -hmm. Right on! <laughs> it's really good! Yummy! <laughs> we were joking before about attitude, rock and roll attitude. But, <laughs> oh, oh, it's no joke. <laughs> rock and roll attitude is very certain. <laughs> <laughs> it's more of a religion. <laughs> yeah. So define rock and roll attitude. I can see that my We practice twice a week. Yeah, it can get out of control, the business side of things. We have to put up posters and make sure that, you know, all our gear and everything is taken care of. And you spend all your time at the office and then you start thinking, we should just be making music. When I was 11, I decided that I wanted to be like the world's best drummer. I wanted to be a school teacher and write children's books. <laughs> I had no idea what I wanted to be. I either wanted to be the first woman prime minister or jump off tall things. <laughs> I thought that was a career. In Canada, it's hard to make money for any band, for any level of band really, because it's a small population. And as an independent band especially, you're not going to make a lot of money. But it's it's not even so much like how much you make. Even if you eventually start making more money, you're always going to be making just enough. Unless you're hugely famous and then maybe you can be rich. But I mean, other than that, all the money, like all the money that we make, it just goes back into what we do. Bands can get to different levels of success in a million different ways. And uh, we can do it our own way. Yeah. Every step of the way. But there's not much I can. Dreamers. <laughs> <laughs>